Tincha Guidi. I am very, yes. <laughs> first I'm very honored to be here. Uh, I am uh, honored to follow uh, Congressman Royce, who I serve on the House Foreign Affairs Committee and I serve on the Asia Subcommittee. Uh, you know, in, in a time when everyone thinks that Washington is so dysfunctional, and maybe in many ways it is, Chairman Royce runs the most functional committee in the United States Congress. It is a, it is a committee that really has the interests of the American people at heart. And he works very hard to be very inclusionary on the committee to have all of us move along. And so with that, I have taken this opportunity then, being on the committee, to join the Tom Lantos Human Rights Commission, to adopt prisoners of conscience, to speak out against oppression in Vietnam, to support religious freedom, to support the right of activists, to say that while I think that in many ways there's a slight difference between Chairman Royce and myself, while I agree with everything that he said, I still, as you know, did not vote for the trans, tr the Trade Promotion Authority because for me, the Vietnamese government has to change now, not to promise they will change in the future. Right. Once they change, I will be there. But yes. they have not, as the chairman said, demonstrated that change. But we are so fortunate that we had this opportunity to have our United States ambassador here. A person that cares very much about the very issues that those of us or those who are here are part of the, part of the diaspora. I too, I am Jewish. My family had to flee also because of the diaspora. I lost members of my family in the Holocaust. I understand the bravery of the boat people, the bravery of your families. I have fought very much. I think there are lots of things that we have to do now. We have to make sure that Ben Wah Cemetery really is open and taken care of, and that the people and that the Vietnamese government does more than just talk about reconciliation it actually demonstrates that it's going to provide freedoms for its people, and that is the first step. It has to help us in making sure that that's a national cemetery, a place where people can honor their ancestors, and they still haven't done that. And so those are the steps that we have to take. But I'm so pleased and honored to be part of both the Foreign Affairs Committee and to, and to really thank the ambassador for coming here for meeting our community and for understanding uh, uh, what it's like to be part of the diaspora in, 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 in Westminster, in Garden Grove, and Little Saigon. So thank you. Uh, I am honored to be your representative in one of your representatives in the United States Congress. Thank you. Hey. And I'm going to bring this over because I would like him to be able to eat his dinner. As well, our ambassador, <laughs> Ambassador Ted Olson. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Lowenthal. Thank you, Chairman Royce. Uh, and thank you to you, my hosts. It's a great honor to be here. Xin chào quý vị và các bạn. Tôi rất là vinh dự để sang đây và ăn trưa với quý vị và các bạn. Và tôi phải giải thích tại sao tôi nói với dòng bạc. Khi tôi đã học tiếng Việt cách đây 20 năm, tôi đã học với một giáo sư của miền Nam và lúc đó tôi đã nói với...